Okay, everyone, we have a um, a rather intriguing topic today. Um, it's the it's unnecessary shame and guilt that some people have regarding sex. And this, you know, I'm I'm joined today by Gabriel Rutten, MD, um, who has some really important things to say. I'm going to sort of set it off with a little intro to begin with, but then we're going to have this conversation. And there's a lot of people, a lot of people that um, don't uh, enjoy or participate in sex because of shame, guilt, and stuff like that. You would agree with that, would you, Gabrielle? Absolutely, yes. Yes. It's a big problem. Yeah, I, I see it with some frequency, you know, with people that I've dealt with over time. Well, it happened with both men and women, uh, 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 women primarily. Would that be true with you? Yes, both, both, but more, more women than men. Yes. Yeah. But okay. I see it in both. So let me, let me uh, just talk a little bit about the foundation of the problem, at least the way I see it. And then you and I can kick this around and we can look at ways to uh, deal with it. Um, it, it really isn't necessary. It's, it's a kind of thing that's, it's an emotional block for many people. Uh, you would agree with that one? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay. So take care of the emotional block and, you know, a few good things may happen around this planet that aren't currently happening, okay? So anyway, anyway, this is the kind of thing that happens. And and we'll take the young woman, for an example. At some early age, a, a woman, a girl, is molested in some fashion. She might even be raped and penetrated. But maybe she's just molested, fondled, perhaps, kissed. But things that are romantic in a way that that at one level, the young lady, young man too, but young lady, um, gets confused about it. Uh, like all young children, she's she's looking for love. She's looking for attention. And some male, a father, perhaps, an uncle, a trusted person, a priest, a somebody makes these kind of advances and sexually speaking, um, we're addressing her pleasure zones. She's young. She doesn't know that much about them. Feels good in some fashion, perhaps. Okay. And, um, she also confuses that with attention and love. And so goes along with it partly because she likes it. But the, on the other hand, she's going, no, something's, something's wrong here. And so she's in conflict. And then that develops over time into all kinds of different things that people do with these experiences, conclusions they make about it. They make conclusions about themselves. I'm bad, for example. Uh, or I'm oversexed or something's wrong with me or, or things of that nature. And until they get resolved, it gets in the way of, you know, good, healthy, romantic interchanges, sexual interchanges and so on. And so therein, and that's kind of a simplification, Gabrielle. Um, but therein lies the fundamental issue does that does that fit with what you're talking about or would you add something to it or tell me yes so um particularly if if uh the the experience in a young age be that a boy or a girl um the body is wired to react to any kind of stimulation also sexual stimulation so um i've come across quite a few clients that you know, in hindsight, looking back at what happened, this, the moment they they realized that it wasn't okay to have an experience like that at, at this age. Obviously, if the abuse is aggressive, they already know there's something wrong. But there's also quite a few clients that I've had that uh, weren't aware that it was, you know, totally wrong. Although they were told that they shouldn't discuss it with anybody, etc. But the moment they realized that this is a strange situation in hindsight I've, I've come across quite a few 
uh, clients that in hindsight feel a lot of shame and guilt because their bodies reacted. Yeah, you know, and that's just a simple. Yeah, it's a it's a pleasure zone thing. It feels good, yes. and that and that comes with the package. <laughs> okay, when you're born. Yes, it, 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 there it is. Okay. Well, that's just a sign that your body was uh, correctly wired, so to speak. And so they might have enjoyed it or they might not have enjoyed it because they were just really confused about what was happening. But in hindsight, there's still shame and guilt and confuse, confusion in the sense that they think that because they their bodies reacted, they must have asked for it or they must have, you know, wanted it or whatever else, which obviously is not the case. And so this, this needs... Uh, uh, you know, attention, because that's a miss, the, it really is a misunderstanding. You're yeah. you're not reacting because you somehow, in a some, you know, a distorted way, you are enjoying what is happening. Uh, you know, it just, it's just the way the, the, the body is wired, so there's a reaction. It's as simple well, as that. Yeah, and, and just on the other side of it, there are some people, because of its aggressive nature and so on, didn't really enjoy it. it it was actually mm -hmm. painful. Of course. It it hurt. Of course. They didn't want it. Of course. They resent it and all of that. But there's see yes. there's this whole wide rainbow of possibilities. Of that course. Go on yes. Here, okay. Yes. But yes. What, what you're what you're talking about is among those possibilities, and I've seen this a lot, there really was pleasure in it. Give me some more, and that's the body speaking. Yes. Yes, because if it's if it's you know just aggressive and painful and whatever else, they might still have you know the, the perpetrator might still have been telling them, "Oh, but you like this and you want this and you're asking for this, whatever else." But I'm talking about the uh, situation where the body did react because it was more gentle or whatever the situation was, and then in hindsight they think, "I must have wanted it or something." No. It's still an experience that you should not have had to go through at that age, but your body was just, you know, biologically responding to what was happening. So I hope that, you know, talking frankly about this, uh, uh, that people realize it's not something you, you have to be ashamed of or feel guilty about, but you do have to work on these situations to clear out these, you know, the, 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 misunderstandings and the the erroneous conclusions you come to like i don't deserve sex or i'm a bad person or i asked for it or whatever it is that they come you know they yeah, think I, i've had some that even thought they concluded because of all of this they were causing it they were yes. seductive uh, in the whole circle whether or not that was true that was their conclusion yes. about all this but one thing one thing i want to bring up because this, this is important to how we resolve all of this is not only does the and you tell me if this fits in your own experience gabriel not only does does the client the victim if you will to use this term um confused about this um she doesn't know how to handle it, and she keeps getting input from the world around her. Oh, this is a bad thing. This shouldn't happen. The yes. church may have things to say about this. Other family members may have things to say about this. Uh, things about this kind of thing was talk, talked about in school, okay? Uh, or it's a hush-hush thing. Don't ever, don't ever talk about this. Don't ever talk about this. Um, kind of thing it's a uh, it's got this your bad thing to it and that's yes the natural conclusion so what we want to do to resolve this is take those inputs we can start here anyway take those inputs if you do this you are bad if you do this you don't deserve if you do this you are guilty da, 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 da. It, and so on and keep your big secret always always these are all specific events which we talk a lot about in our advanced course and they have emotions attached to them and here's where the unseen therapist comes in beautifully if we lay it out on the table with enough specificity 
and we can start taking all this guilt and we go instead of I'm guilty, I'm guilty, I'm guilty. I'm no, I was I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. So what kind of thing? Okay. Yes. So anyway, that's that's just my little thing in there. Uh, give me your experience with that, would you? Yeah, so if you want to uh, resolve these kinds of experiences, now obviously we're zooming in on to feeling, you know, guilt and shame because there was a reaction that you didn't understand back then and now think, well, I must have, etc. But working specifically, so the experiences themselves, just one at a time, and also the moments where somebody else, you know, made a remark and caused you to think, ah, I'm a bad person because I liked it or I shouldn't, etc. So work on the very specific moments, do the meditation, ask unseen therapist and just ask her also to, um, to allow yourself to hear this explanation uh, and realize that you did nothing wrong. I, it's very important to understand that um, if you if you're a minor and there's an adult involved or somebody who is at least older than you are they are responsible you are not never ever so ask unseen therapist to help you realize that um when you're a child you're you're not you're it's not your fault it's it's you're not initiating this etc etc and then do not forget to also look at more recent situations where the same guilt or uh, shame is just triggered because you are reminded of whatever you heard or whatever you were feeling uh, back then or heard other people say about this. The yeah, whole thing you need to work on. Along those lines, uh, just earlier today, I was speaking with a, a lady a uh, married lady who uh, considers it a mistake that when she was 48 years old, I don't know how old she is now, 60 or 70 or thereabouts, but happily married to a man who adores her and all of this. But at age 48, she got herself involved in an affair. Right? And she looks back at it, shouldn't have done it, wouldn't do it today but did it back then right? and carrying around all kinds of guilt about it. And ever since then have, even though mother nature may tap her on the shoulder and the hormones may run. Okay. And she may have a active sex drive. She doesn't feel deserving of the pleasure deserving of the experience because of what she did with this yes. affair some time in the past. Now, some people think, well, that's how you're going to resolve that. She, you know, she did this in the past and, and her church said she shouldn't. And, uh, you know, society says she shouldn't. She's a bad person. Da, 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 da. They don't realize, they don't realize that unseen therapists properly done can come in and not, we're not, she's not excusing the behavior, just taking the sting out of it. It's a past thing. It doesn't need to interrupt pleasure, marriage pleasures currently. But in this case, it was anyway. But you can do that with unseen therapists. You can lay this out on the table nicely, hand the emotional response, the I don't deserve response to unseen therapist and end up with being, well, of course, <laughs> of course I can deserve it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I made a mistake, but it was a, it was a mistake and everybody makes mistakes, uh, including <laughs> just about everybody listening here has made some mistakes. You got your own secrets, yes. <laughs> yes. by the way, we're not going to ask you to talk about it. <laughs> but they may, may or may not be sexual. Okay. Uh, but in some cases, even thinking, gee, wouldn't a, a an affair with so and so, you know, be? Uh, well, that might be nice, mm -hmm. you know. Even yes. thinking it, it uh, you know, these yes. are human things. All this stuff comes with the package, and it can be unloaded beautifully. I'll shut up. Go ahead. 
Gabrielle. No, no, I was just going to uh, give another example. This this is about uh, um, a male client of mine who was molested by an aunt when he was a little boy. He would, she would, you know, um, uh, stimulate him until he had an erection and, and uh, would uh, come. And as a little boy, that was totally confusing and really awkward because I think, if I remember correctly, he was like nine or ten, youngish. This was a grown-up woman. From that experience, he was he was never comfortable if if his lady friends would want to touch him and and stimulate him and do whatever they 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 felt like like doing. It, so we worked on this with uh, the unseen therapist and just you know first of all it was a relief for him to be to be able to to discuss it with me just to explain what happened and why he was it was such a, a weird experience for him and it was a relief for him to hear that if if the body is stimulated in the right way it will respond so that's not you doing something strange and uh, extraordinary that's just how how it works that was a major relief for him and then obviously we also worked on uh, experiences where he's completely uncomfortable when women you know, get active and want to do stuff. And uh, we asked unseen therapist and she stepped in and um, big relief. And he emailed me the other day saying that he had a, a lovely lady friend and that they were really enjoying sex. And he really now enjoys when she's active and wants to uh, stimulate him. Mm -hmm. So that was a very nice result, I should say. Well, you're, you're calling it relief, correct? Yes, yes. I also use the word, there's a freedom uh, involved that wasn't yes. there before. There's just certainly, yes. there's a freedom. Uh, your body is knocking on your door. It was designed to do that, okay? And it's saying it's your turn, okay? Knock, yes. knock. And, and, you know, to go through all these other mental gymnastics about how bad it is or whatever that got implanted some time ago, that needs to go. It's, it's got you in jail, if you will, in, 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 yep. in a form of jail. Yes. And this is freedom. This Absolutely. Is freedom. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we we pretty much done it. You got anything else you want to say uh, on this topic, Gabrielle? No. Uh, no, I think it's, uh, we're good. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. Well, I think I thank the audience for listening in. We hope we hope you got you know quite a bit out of this. Okay. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.